Now let's go ahead and create a custom post type. And this time we're going to call it portfolio. So we'll come to our fly, flywheel and click on our files. We fetch where the file is. Public. And then themes in here. We want to open this with our code editor. So as you remember, we'll say CMD, open CMD, and then CD space, come there, drag it there, and there, enter. Then types code dot, and this is gonna open it for you. Now, I'll just make this bigger. In functions, we're going to write our function in here. And the function that we're going to write is going to be the one that creates all our post types for us. And this time we'll only need one post type. So what we'll do is we'll say add theme support. And in there, we'll then put the custom plugin that I've created, the custom logo. So we'll say custom dash logo and then we'll copy this paste it twice and then in here we'll change that to menus and this one will be pull thumbnails now let's create our function so to do the function we'll say function and we create our post type, so we'll say create custom, and then we'll call it a name, so we'll say portfolio post type, and then we'll open our quality bracket, and in our quality bracket we put our register, so we'll say register underscore post underscore type, and in there, we will then say, I want it to be a portfolio. And then we'll say an array. And in the array, we'll say label. And the labels are going to be an array. So we'll say array. And in there, we're now going to write our labels names. So the first one is going to be name. And the second one is going to be singular name. So now that we have this, now we need to declare them. So it's going to be that in bracket. We need to now say portfolio. I'll just copy that, paste it there. And then up here, I'll just do that. And then I'll do that. Now that we have declared our names, now we'll just press enter and then close the array. Now let's declare a few things. We want it to be public, so we'll say public. We want it to show in the admin bar, so we'll say show underscore in underscore admin underscore bar okay then we'll want it to show in the rest api so that we can use graphql to fetch the post type so we'll say show underscore in underscore rest okay now we need to now put them all as true so we'll say True, and I'll just copy that and paste to all of them. Okay, so now that we have that, now we come out of here and then close that. Okay, now we need to do one more thing. Well, two more things. The first thing is we need to add a thumbnail and a shirt. A thumbnail is basically, you know, representing this page as an image. So they will show an image in it. We'll be able to upload each portfolio an image. And then we'll be able to add an excerpt. So a sentence 
which people can see before they see the actual portfolio. So to add this, we'll say add underscore post underscore type underscore we'll say support and in the support we're going to call the portfolio so we'll say portfolio and when we call the portfolio we're going to now create an array of things that we want it to have so we'll say an array and in the array we want it to have first the thumbnail so it's going to be thumbnail and then we want it to have the search so we'll say e sorry accept and then that's that so we'll close this so just to recap we've added the thumbnail we've added the search we've said we want this to show in the public we want it to show in the admin bar we want it to show in the rest api we want the name to be portfolio we want the singular name to be also portfolio and we want you to register all of this now outside the outside the function we're going to now make an action so that it can actually work so we'll say add action and then in there we're going to now in it and out of there we're going to call our function and this is our function so we'll copy this Okay, and out of it we'll close this so we've called our action we called the init we've called this so now we just need to put that in the quotation okay so it looks better so everything seems to be okay here so I'll just save this okay now let's add a, a template as well while we're here so we'll just create a new template and we call it portfolio dot php okay in here we're now going to open our php and then we're going to close our php and in here we're going to now put a comment and this comment will take the the name of our portfolio so it will be template name and it will be portfolio okay and then it will be sorry author let's just put a lowercase author and that will be me I mean signatory and out of there we'll close the comment okay so this basically this template name WordPress will pick it up so that when we select in a template it will show us this is the template so you can select the template name so we'll save all of this make sure everything is okay here and then now we're gonna run into our WordPress and see if everything is actually working so we'll refresh yes so we have a portfolio already so we've created our portfolio post type so we'll just click on it and you can see that it gives us space here we can add a new portfolio okay so we'll just this is an editor the new wordpress editor so we'll just ignore that so we can put our data here we will come here and then you can see that there's a feature image there's an excerpt, excerpt as i told you before and then you can put some details of the blocks and stuff like that so we have created this post type